Greetings, Undertoads. Lately, I've been playing through so many Zelda games again, it's getting out of control to the point where I want a fourth Zelda tattoo. However, my issues aside, one that I've been playing a lot lately has been Spirit Tracks. Now, I previously reviewed Phantom Hourglass, and I enjoyed that a lot, but I enjoy Spirit Tracks even more than that after playing through this new adventure of our green-capped hero. In this adventure, we have a new Link who's an engineer. He's even sporting a new outfit as he works alongside his mentor, Alfonso. Now his duty is to take the train to the castle, where he'll be recognized that he graduated as an engineer. <laughs> Needless to say, the train is probably the coolest feature in this game. Controlling this contraption allows a new experience which causes me to have a maturity level of a five-year-old. Now it's you handling the train and it will challenge you at times, such as when it needs you to toot the whistle to have a nearby animal move off the tracks. You can also go forward very fast, faster, slow down, brake, or go in reverse, whatever you want to do. Now I become that five-year-old with the whistle, because I can't stop taking my stylus and tugging the living hell out of it. That choo-choo sound gets me every time. At certain points with your train also, you'll have to change direction of the track. And this can be tricky sometimes, because you must look above at your map to make sure that you're not about to hit head-on into another train. Eventually, though, you finally arrive to the castle and get to Princess Zelda, and she dubs you the honor of being a royal engineer, and on your way there, you meet the big, er, little, uh, small bad guy? He even looks evil when he's supposed to be innocent. This little ginger's name is Chancellor Cole. I don't know if it's because gingers are given bad reps, but it seems like a lot of villains nowadays have carrot top red hair. Now Zelda wants you to sneak her over to the spirit tower because she suspects people being up to no good. Well, after helping the princess escape because her guards are supposed to keep her up there, and I'll tell you, it's an annoying task sneaking her out. You actually have to guide her and distract the guards, but this all actually helps you later on in controlling Zelda, which becomes useful to you. Oh, that's right. Zelda's a ghost, and she basically is Link's fairy through this adventure, and she has the ability to aid you through the spirit tower as you climb up it. The Spirit Tower doesn't give you a repetitive feel as bad as the Temple of the Ocean King did in Phantom Hourglass. Because even though you're going through this to get a new piece of map each time, the different floors provide different puzzles and you have to retrieve three tiers of light. These tiers power up Link's sword and allow him to jab one of the guards in the back. And this lets Zelda occupy the body. Once you have one of these phantoms in your power, it's time to make your way to the piece of map that you need. These pieces of map provide you with the spirit tracks reforming so that you can use the train provided to you by Angine, the protector of the tower spirits. But hey Angine, some job you've done protecting them. I mean seriously, look what's happened to the tower. It's in pieces. Now I also know this game is an ocarina of time, but you're given a flute which allows you to play songs that will help you along the way, such as a song of healing. You'll use these different songs throughout the game to aid you as you travel to the different temples. These temples throughout the game should give nobody a problem. They're really just typical Zelda temples, such as a forest one, ocean, you get the idea. I'd say Spirit Tracks is paced way more appropriately for classic Zelda fans. It has creative characters who all have amazing personalities, even though they don't really speak as far as the audio goes, but you still see their dialogue. They all have this appeal that has me instantly falling in love with how clueless Link is and how spazzy Zelda gets to be. 